All right, got something very interesting I wanted to share with you. Uh, this is actually the evil of the satanic wicked Jesuit order, actually exposed by five notable historical figures. These are quotes by five notable historical figures exposing the satanic cult, uh, the, the satanic cult that is known as the Jesuit order. I've done videos exposing them, but uh, it was just a well-known fact back in you know centuries ago that the Jesuit order were essentially a subversive evil group that was trying to undermine pretty much every place they got into. And these quotes are from some of which are not even by Christians, just, you know, people, just historical figures who saw the evil that the Jesuits posed and the danger they posed as well. So here's the first uh, quote. This is by someone named Paleo uh, Sarpi. He was a, uh, a patriot, scholar, scientist, and church reformer. He said this about the Jesuits. He said, quote, they are a public, a public plague and the plague of the world. From the Jesuit colleges, there never is sent a pupil obedient to his father, devoted to his country, loyal to his prince. Very true. The Jesuits are a very subversive evil group. They will infiltrate and try to turn nations into being uh, submissive to the Pope in Rome. The Black Pope and his henchmen, the White Pope. He also says in this quote, uh, every species of vice finds its patronage in them. There is no perjury nor sacrifice nor uh, parakid, par parakid, I think I say, I say it, nor incest nor, nor rapine nor fraud nor treason, which cannot be masked as uh, meturious beneath the mantle of their dispensation. Yeah, exactly. You know, that's the whole truth of the matter is that you know they appear righteous outwardly but inwardly well they're full of dead men's bones like jesus christ told said about the pharisees in matthew chapter 23. this is a quote by uh, anton arnold he said he had this to say about the jesuits quote do you wish to ex to excite troubles and provoke revolution to produce total ruin in your in your country call on the jesuits and build magnificent colleges for these hot-headed religionists suffer those through has something in my mouth Suffer those are uh, uh, audacious priests with their dictatorial, dogmatic tone to decide on the affairs of the state. Yeah, exactly. Oh, sorry, just cut myself there. You know, that's what they do. They will cause all kinds of strife, contention, and division, and they're nothing but hot-headed, you know, devil-filled little Luciferians who are sent to cause this kind of problems. You want to excite troubles and, and provoke all kinds of wars? Well, just get in the Jesuits and they'll do all that for you. Put it that way. Here is a quote by John Adams, a uh, president of the U.S. This is what he had to say about the uh, Jesuit order. He said, My history of the Jesuits is not eloqu uh, eloquently written, but it is supported by unquestionable authorities. It's very particular and very horrible. The restoration is indeed a step towards darkness, cruelty, uh, perfidy, despotism, despotism, death. Uh, I do not like the appearance of the Jesuits. If if ever there were, if sorry, if ever there was a body of men who merited eternal damnation on earth and in hell, it is the Society of Jesus. Now they call themselves the Society of Jesus, but you see, their Christ is a false Christ. But also, he says in this other quote, uh, "Shall we not have regular swarms of them here, as or as in as many as disguises as only the King of the Gypsies can assume?" says so dress in painters pub, dress as painters publishers writers and schoolmasters uh if ever there was a body of men who merited eternal damnation on the earth and hell it is the society of laolas we are compelled by our system to offer them asylum yeah that's the thing about them too is that they're a very evil group and even the president of the u.s you can see how they'll swarm in how they're essentially they have all kinds of just subversive stuff all kinds of darkness they like to push on your society yeah exactly they're, they're very deceptive. They'll disguise themselves as, you know, productive members of society, but really they're trying to undermine that society and bring it under the authority of the Jesuit Pope in Rome. This is what Napoleon had to say about the Jesuit order. He said, the Jesuits are a military organization, not a religious order. Their chief is a general of an army, uh, not a mere father abba of a monastery. And the aim of this organization is power. Power in the most despotistic, desp sorry, despotic exercise. Absolute power, universal power, power to control the world by the volition of a single man. Jesuitism is the moral absolute of despotisms. And at the same time, the greatest and most enormous abuses, the, ge the general of the Jesuits insists on being master, sovereign, over the sovereign. Whether the Jesuits are admitted, they will be masters, cost what it may. 
Their society is by nature dictatorial and therefore is an in irreconcilable as it turns irreconcilable enemy of all constituted authority. Every act, every crime, however atrocious atrocious sorry is a is a mer, sorry meritorious work if committed by the interests of the society and the jesuits or by the order of the general yeah, that's another thing too that they do as well they'll commit all kinds of sin you know crime you know they'll murder people they'll, they'll poison people but as long as it advances the will of the pope well therefore it's okay it's a moral act in their worldview hence why the jesuits are so subversive and evil this is a quote by Marquis de, or sorry, de la Freite. He was a French statement, statesman in general. He had this to say about the Jesuits. It is my opinion that, th that if the liberties of this country, the United States of America, are destroyed, it will be by the authority of the Roman Catholic Jesuit priests, for they are the most crafty, dangerous enemies to civil and religious liberty. They have uh, instigated most of the wars of Europe. Yep, that's the thing about the Jesuits too. They'll instigate wars, they'll cause conflict. And they're really the biggest enemy. I mean, the kind of the kind of threat that a Jesuit poses to freedom and liberty far outweighs that that a Muslim or a Talmudic Jew or a Hindu or whatever else oppose, uh, it basically poses because the Jesuits will uh, instead of being openly violent like the Talmudic Jew that the Muslims so essentially that the Talmudic Jews and the Muslims will be openly violent. The Hindus will be openly violent. But the Jesuits will be very subversive and sneak their way in and get political power to impose the will of the Pope upon any kind of free and liberty-driven society. That's the truth of the matter. Uh, Roman Catholicism is Revel uh, sorry, Mystery Babylon of Revelation 17 and 18, and the Jesuit order is proof of the kind of murderous nature of the Mystery Babylon Roman Catholic Church. So these, these are uh, five historical, notable historical figures who even they could see through the evil of the Jesuits. So... I wanted to show you guys that. Don't be deceived by the Jesuits. Their, their Jesus is not, you know, Jesus Christ of God's word. Their Jesus is, you know, the, the spirit of Antichrist. Their Jesus is the man of sin. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.